Welcome to A Course in Miracles with a Ho'oponopono lens. We're on Lesson 323 out of the workbook. Today's idea is I gladly make the sacrifice, quote-unquote sacrifice, of fear. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Here is the only sacrifice you ask of your beloved children. You ask them to give up all suffering all sense of loss and sadness, all anxiety and doubt, and freely let your love come streaming in to their awareness, healing them of pain and giving them your own eternal joy. Such is the sacrifice, quote unquote, sacrifice you ask of me and one I gladly make. The only cost, quote unquote, cost, the only cost of restoration of your memory to me for the salvation of the world. Mm. That's the only cost, giving up fear. As we pay the debt we owe to truth, a debt that merely is letting go of self-deceptions and of images we worshipped falsely, Truth returns to us in wholeness and in joy. We are deceived no longer. Love has now returned to our awareness. And we are at peace again, for fear has gone and only love remains. So um, when you give up something in this world, because this is a world of duality, so when you're at zero on the spectrum of one side, say fear, since we're talking about fear, when fear is at zero, then you're going to have 100% love because that is the spectrum. Just like you might go through the light spectrum, the visible light spectrum, red is on one side and violet on the other. And then there's the myriad of colors in between. But if there's zero violet, you're going to be at 100% red because of this dualistic world. Um, so when we give up fear, love remains. That's the only thing that can remain. And, you know, I wonder, I'm just curious. I wonder where am I on a spectrum? I'm not at 100% love, but definitely fear has disappeared. A lot of fear not all of it. So how can I get, and I'm asking the Holy Spirit, how can I get to the side of 100% love? And if you ask that question as well, be looking for answers over the next few days, weeks, months, so on and so forth. How can I get to 100% love? One answer I heard was pray for other people. Normally, uh, when I do Ho'oponopono or any type of prayer, usually it's just focused on myself, but I shall do Ho'oponopono for other people. Okay, and speaking of Ho'oponopono, let's do Ho'oponopono over fear. Any fears that we have, let's do Ho'oponopono over idols. And ask, let's ask to be shown what these idols are, these last holdouts um, that might be deep within our minds that we're not even aware of them. Dear Father, dear Divinity, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry for these idols. Please reveal to, to me what they are. What are these last holdouts? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Dear Father, or divinity, show me where I can be more loving and how can I get rid of the fear? I would like to be more closer to the hundred, the side of a hundred percent love. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And one of the answers that I heard was, uh, give up time. So um, sometimes I like to 
have my to-do list and cross off things off my list. And then it's like, woo, I can enjoy the rest of my day. But everything, give up everything to him as far as time. And that's one thing that I heard. Maybe you're hearing something similar. Uh, let's see. So to divinity, we can say the four phrases. Those are clearing phrases and they go deep within your mind to clear out old thought forms, thought patterns, uh, erases, memories, so on and so forth. You can also just say to divinity, I love you, I love you, I love you. You could also just say to divinity, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that is it for lesson 323. I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening wherever you're at in the world. Talk to you later. Bye.